when they made the commitment, they said they were taking the challenge as men leaders in Africa to say fighting gender-based violence, fighting violence against women and girls is not a woman's fight. It should be everybody's fight. And for a long time, women have been seen as the ones who should lead the fight and who, who should conduct the fight. And when men join the fight, we think that success is not far. So when we are here in Ethiopia and we have the group of female ambassadors and female heads of UN agencies and female leaders of the African Union coming together under the same platform called the Queen Bees and fighting to advance the gender agenda in Africa, but to also fight gender-based violence, we say we will probably make progress. But when the men decide to join, we say we will win. So I wanted to say thank you to the ambassadors who really took the challenge and decided to bring their very substantive contribution. You all have seen the cars because for us branding is important. You saw them with their cars during the 16 days of activism with the sign, the logo. You saw them walking. Uh, in the in the African Union, in the compound of the African Union to launch the 16 days of activism. And today you see them here, bringing us together to say no to gender-based violence, no to violence against women and girls in Africa. And I join Ambassador Joshua to say thank you to Pendika for hosting this. Wow, thank you. It's important. We are bringing your contribution. And we want you, because as ambassadors, you are seated here. But because you are ambassadors seated in the capital of, in, of Africa, in Addis, you also have a direct, direct link with your colleagues in member states. We want to take this good example forward share it with other countries and make sure that we close the 16 days of activism campaign by saying males and female leaders seated here are fighting and they are ready to say to stop violence against women but we want you to do it after the 10th of uh, december and we want you to take it all over africa and i'm sure um, uh, uh, DCP Monique is not here, but I see some colleagues from the AU. I'm sure they will share the message to, with her and with President Faki to say that they can find here very strong allies to make sure that Agenda 2063, Agenda 2030 means something and have an impact on the lives of women and girls so they can live free of fear free of any form of discrimination. Thank you very much, uh, Ambassador. We are with you. We will support your efforts.